what's the number one mistake new coaches make in marketing? And I even experience coaches do, weirdly enough. And here's the thing. People focus on what's immediately in front of them. If I can get quick fame or if I'm noticed, then I will get the coaching clients. So the idea is if I'm big on social media, then I will get the clients. In fact, you may be a little bit shocked for people who are not doing sales and marketing coaching that actually getting coaching clients online is very few people actually pull that off, to be honest. And so the number one reason mistakes that people make is also the number one reason why people fail in their coaching business. Because what they do is they allot an insane amount of time on sorting their social media. Now, do you want to be a coach? Do you want to be a marketer? So you need to come up with something else. Now, I'm a coach of 26 years and I don't have a website. I don't even have a large Instagram account and most certainly will I not post every day and be reels and do that and be a slave to creating content. I won't do it. Now, other than being an awesome coach, which actually what sells and being having mastery in fixing the most common human problems and having mastery in helping people get the outcomes and the desires that they have. But what's really under your nose for marketing and people fail to see is talking to people live and not through networking events. I'm an introvert, that's an introvert's nightmare. I'm talking about meeting people and one way of meeting people is through small workshops. In fact, I have invented a system that I sell for $2.50 has an ebook and a training how to easily get coaching clients through social entrepreneurship and small seminars. And yeah, I, rem I remind myself I should create a product which helps new NLP practitioners to give an awesome workshop somewhere for one or two hours. I'll get to it, I promise. But also, could you do a workshop live somewhere in the neighborhood, somewhere you need to be engaging with people? Maybe you, I have a, I have a student who would sit in, in, a, in a coffee house every week at a certain day at a certain time, ask a coach a question. And think about it, you could go on, I, we have an event here in Venice Beach where it's in Los Angeles, where we send new coaches on the boardwalk over here at the end of their training and get people to talk to people and say, hey, can you, do you want to ask a life coaching question? And the most amazing conversations occur. And now that's 10 minutes, five minutes that they do this. But what would happen if you did this longer? And if you think that this only works in LA, we do the same thing on Bali. We do the same thing in Mexico, the Rivera Maya. We do the same thing in the center of Amsterdam. It's really about talking to people and not talking to the people that you know and hope for the best. If you're going to talk to people you know, you need to be specific. I want you to connect me to three people that you know that may have interest in coaching. Can you sit down with them and me at the same time? Can I give them a workshop and can you bring them? That's how you do this. And this is the way that you get coaching clients. Now what people do, and I promise you, they become such a slave to content, creation on social media, even against their will, feel that they need to go live every day. Are you kidding me? As a coach, you want to be coaching. You don't have time to go live every day. You don't have time to be slave to content. Because the things that what those sales and marketing coaches want to teach you is they have time to do this 100 hours a week. That's why they burn out, by the way. But you want to be coaching. And I personally would rather sit in a two hour workshop, engaging with people and seeing the light bulbs go off above their head because I'm teaching them the NLP questioning model, NLP meta model and perceptual positions. And I'm actually giving them a change inside their mind and give them actionable tools that they can use in the real world. And I can teach it in one or two hours. That's how they sign up. That's how you do that. And so that's my take a little bit of insight from a coach of 26 years. See you around.